Hello everyone and welcome back to another another episode of XCOM The Shift War. The last mission showed us the ugly side of XCOM and I'm not taking it very well. I, I admit it. I admit it. Uh, these heavy floaters are totally trashing us. They killed one of my ships already. We have follow targeting on them? Yes. So let's kill this floater. So thanks for being a douche. A hole. So um, that floater threw a grenade at my sniper, and a tall tree that gave high cover um, went away. So I was out in the open, and that thin man that stands here, that survived after the after we first saw them with one health, but because they have regeneration on them, uh, he's now back to full. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not happy. I'm not happy, guys. All right. Do we have follow targeting on B1? Yes, we do. So I want to finally move in and take care of that FN leader. A 35% chance only. Tactical fence, that's why. This guy will cause a lot of trouble. I get a 50-50 chance to hit the other floater, so let's try this. Of course I miss. Okay, there is no acid on B5. So B5, why don't you move over here and take care of that thin man over there? Because we flank them. We have a very good chance of actually achieving that. Yes! Go away, asshole! Ah, oh, that feels good to say that. Feels so good to say that. Okay, can they flank? My scout. Do they have sprinter? No. They have bombard. Why don't we see the leader? Is my question here. That's really odd. Okay, let's get some damage in into that guy. 50 50. Yes! Now, actually, my sniper might might heading to that location might succeed in killing that guy off with a disabling shot try uh, with a precision shot sorry yes who would have thought that that bad thing is good for something who would have thought Right out, Commander. Come get them. All right. Now we have two ships out in the open, and they both can be also destroyed by this floater over there. So it might actually be a good idea to move in with A4. Although A4 is the one with the robotics um, to suppress the leader. This is not robotics with the heat ammo. There you go. Suppression on the leader. Extra help on my shifts, that's good. What's it doing? Shooting back, it misses because of the suppression. Nice. Nice! So, let's move in and kill this guy off. I cannot stand you anymore. 50 50 chance! Well, holo targeting is applied. We don't even see the leader with this with the, with the scout. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Anymore. So move it over here with Laser Ross. 
Polo targeting is applied, so this will be the best chance he will ever get. Two in three. And we miss! Come in with B3. Wait, is it on A4 again to suppress? I think... Ah, uh, no! It's so strange that I'm not seeing them from here. Yes, Alright, I will just rush into high cover over here. Now I see him. Alrighty. Time to murder. Let's see if we can get a smoke in next turn. I guess I, I will have to uh, suppress with A4 again. Yeah, I timed that incorrectly. There we go, suppression is up. But they can still hit us because of the uh, because of the close range. Let's rock. They get range bonuses. Please don't have rapid fire. And a grenade. Okay. My A4 is out of ammo. That's the, the right moment to be out of ammo, A4. I have to say. How many grenades do you have actually, dude? It's not cool. All right, 57, do it again. And miss again, asshole. Oh god, I just I just get a 1 in 3 chance. Look how bad this is. And holo targeting was applied already. I will hide Moving behind in. this high cover that they can't see. There you go. We will reload on A4. Although A4 might get killed. It's not. I want to move out of sight with A4. Move over. Wait, is this. No, this wall is still there, right? So move over here with A4. We'll take some time, but we will come back with A4 to help out. Uh, who can suppress? You can, Laser Ross. So let's suppress. And you reload, B1. I have a disabling shot ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm moving in that and can next turn disable them from here, right? Ouch! Oh god, the next ship is gone. How am I ever going to kill this guy? With my human sucking so hard? I don't know. B3 and B1. It was laser off that is gone. 62. 62. We need one guy to suppress. Right. Wait, can we actually uh, reach them with you? No. How about. That's risky. I will move over here. Give some much needed cover. Uh, holo targeting from my... 
scouts. Miss. Adjusting aim. Okay, 72% chance. By now, it must be the case. Solid copy. Let me hit him at least once. Disabling shot, 456, okay. 50-50. Miss again. Halting enemies advance. Target's still up. Hey, how bad can this be? How bad can this be? Okay, it did nothing. That's good. Uh, yeah, now I want a, a four in here. Show him what's up. Okay, a four came forward. Now you have enough ammunition to suppress, so do it. The targeting is up. Move closer to the three. Seventy percent now. Yes, a hit for A. I can't believe it. So A4. 50-50 chance. Yes, for 10. Now it's going down. Okay. Uh, we still have uh, the scout. For 32. That's not good. That's our best bet. Miss. Just Why? Let's try the precision shot. The precision shot. Oh god, I kill him with a high rifle. Hostiles pacify. Excellent work. No. All objectives complete. Not excellent. This is the worst, worst mission ever. The worst mission ever so this is the first time i have to um, repair my ships let's see how long that takes and how costly that is so a2 and b5 were destroyed the problem is with that also is that uh, i'm losing the uh, out the, the the gear the items uh, I guess and B1 is also out B3 is out and A4 all shifts all shifts are out uh, Our engineer got gravely wounded. They are out for 41 days The sniper as well look at this. This is, was so costly Yeah operation hidden whisper uh, whisper my ass at least we got a uh, promotion on the scout so you get hit and run. Man, this was a bad mission. But I got a power source. Yes. I mean, I think everyone has to go through this uh, through this experience to know. Hey, I have to tread tread carefully now. Tread lightly. Damaged items: actual uh, super heavy pulser, core, three core armor rings. Aegis armor alloy carbide plating. Okay, so we have a lot to do. Let's go into engineering, repair bay. Uh, repair all. Takes 100 bucks. Thirteen Elarium, four melds, and twenty-nine something. I think that's alloys. Yeah. Okay, everything will be repaired. And now we have to also repair the ships. So let's have a look. Where is it? Smart shelves? No. Rebuild alloy shiv. Yeah. Uh, 51. And uh, we have two, so that takes... Something. Okay, let's have a look. They will give us money for power sources. No way. For alien surgeries? No way. And for floater corpses, I get scientists. Okay. So we will get the money from here, I hope. Let's have a look at the corpses. Two sectoids corpses. A floater corpse, heavy floater corpses. 
can't sell. Drone Rex. Okay. I don't know oh, what's going on. Down there. 29 Check with flight computers. Do I really need so many flight computers? Seeker Rex, Mechtoid Cores. Blaster Rifle for 88. Alright, so. Maybe I can sell a few Mechtoid Cores. Like three. Let's bring it down to 30, 20. Let's be careful with that. Oh, that damaged equipment as well. I think that's what we need to bring our ships back. So let's see how long this actually takes now. My poor ships. We build the alloy ship. 30 alloys it takes. And what? 45 days? You must be joking. You must be joking. How about build quickly? What happens then? Ninety alloys instead of sixty. And a little bit and more bucks. Wait, what does it take to build that firestorm? One hundred thirty-five alloys. Okay. That's so ridiculous. Uh, the alloy costs on the ship, they I already have them, but they're still... S you build a whole ship with 135 alloys, and if I want to repair two little alloy ships, I have to uh, pay the half of it. And in the normal game, I would have to pay the same amount. But I think I want to... Um, I want to... Rush it. Pay some meld. Yeah. Okay. Situation room, gray market. I need more money, so I will sell more melts. There you go. I need way more money, so I will bring it down to 500, let's say. Complete transaction. Uh, rebuild the ships. I mean, it would actually wouldn't it be better to just build new alloy ships? I mean, it takes more al alloys. That's true. But it will only take me nine days to get two new ones. Well, and more more box, more al way more alloys. No, I will repair them. I'm, I I hold them dearly. I don't want to replace them. I want them back in action. So I built this quickly and have them back in in a month. So submit the order. Okay, they are they are being rebuilt. I lost a lot of core armoring. I have to say, lots of core armoring, but they are being repaired. So I, the hope here is that they come back in time. Right. So look at the repair bay. Core armoring in three days. All right, um, Firestorm is now available to us. Uh, takes 25 days. So I will sell more melt to actually be able to afford this. Like 50 mil should be enough, I guess. No. So 425 then, that should help. I think that's enough. Complete the transaction. I will also have to build me um, another laser cannon. So it takes eight flight computers, four power. Yeah, yeah. Melt, alloys, alarium. Do it. Manufacture it. Engineers needed 75. Not enough hang hangar beds. Transfer or dismiss aircraft to make room. Okay. Okay. Hangar. Uh. So it takes what? 
17 days for line Commander Linear, so I will transfer you over to Asia. There you go. Confirm. And now we have room for the Firestorm, finally. Yeah, how many engineers do we have? 87, enough, enough. Okay, manufacture. What does it take to build this quickly? 202 alloys there. Okay, submit the order in one month. We will have a Firestorm, yes. How long does it take to build a laser cannon? Six days, okay. So we can do that, we can do that later. Oof. Wow, that that mission, dude. That mission. View the soldiers. Do can I do it? Can I feel the team of five? No, I only have four left. This is a donk. Although in three days I get two uh, two of them back. That's at least something. That's at least something. Otherwise, we will have to rely on our humans. Oh my god. Well, I have good humans here, so don't worry. Jordy, don't worry too much. Okay, it's the 4th of December. I wanted to scan for Exalt, right? But for this, we need more bugs. Back to the melts. Oh, you know, mwah. yeah, I will sell some chrysalids, carcasses, there you go, and make that sweep, intel scan, initiate the scan, intel scan complete, scan complete, Exalt cell location confirmed, in Nigeria, okay, um, we have to check real quick, uh, is Benafsha back, oh, I hope Benafsha is back, no, she takes 10 more days. Sheesh. Do we have another assault who can do this? Here, Liam. Let me have a look at you, Liam. Run and gun aggression, close encounters, and close combat specialist. 50 mobility, okay. You will do this for Benafsha this turn. Covered operation, soldier list. Um, Liam, where are ya? Although we could also send not saying Resilience, oh yeah. He also has 15, yeah, okay, you are going. You are going with Resilience, definitely. Okay, you get a laser pistol, an impact vest, and an alloy plating. There you go. 10 health, okay. Uh, 18 mobility, that's good. Together with We're not picking gun. up anything new on radar. Haven't gotten any outside reports either. Yeah, okay. Go on the mission, soldier. Send Robert operative operative mission. deployed to disrupt exalt cell in Nigeria. Nigeria, fine, fine. All right, so let's advance time, shall we? Get that advanced power armor in. So let's see what that does. Among the heaviest of our body armor prototypes, the Titan armor makes use of the complex alien power management systems to provide a continual powered assist to the operator of this suit as they move through the battlefield. With the element in short supply, we've tried to find the most efficient means to utilize it in our development programs. In this case, the Illyrium power cell is used to fuel an integrated cooling system designed to minimize fatigue by regulating the operator's body temperature. This system gives the Titan armor the added benefit of increased resistance to environmental hazards, particularly fire and acid damage. Anti-graph systems will actually uh, give us uh, the hover shift. But we are not after that, right? Um, Gauss weapons will lead to something. Gauss, advanced Gauss, and then something that we want. Uh, I think a part of plasma, actually. So we have to go through the Gauss uh, out 
fits here. I do the ghost research at some point. It takes one hour delirium to research this. Yeah, I get I get flight. That's something that should help against these heavy heavy floaters. These damn heavy floaters. Twelve days, six days. I will go for the gauze weapons first. Okay. Now let me have a look real quick at the the new armors that we got. Banshee armor. This armor mounts a grappling hook. Okay. What else? Light armor, four mobility, twelve defense. 3 HP. And the one that we are currently wearing gives 7 HP to mobility. Mm hmm. And what else we got? Uh, the Titan armor. Heavy armor plus 12 HP. Nice. And a little bit of damage reduction. Stiffens when taking damage, providing damage control perk. Damage reduction for two turns after a hit. Oh, cool. Uh, sealed. Internal air supply and recycling system provide the wearer partial immunity to acid and airway interruption. Okay. Flame resistance. Cooling systems and alien alloy construction confer immunity to environmental fire damage. Okay. But the plus 12, this is excellent. And damage reduction on it. Costs a lot though. What was the Benji? Oh, that was the light, light armor thing, okay. This gives seven, right? Yeah. Two mobility and this. How much mobility does this give? No? I think it gives no mobility at all. Yeah, we will lose mobility on the in the Titan armor. But we get 5 HP plus. But have you seen the damage on that heavy floater? I don't I don't think that 5 HP will actually help in this situation. Oh man. I can't think think straight at the moment. Maybe the Benchy armor is the better better option here because of the plus uh, in defense. Uh, that will help us to completely avoid incoming damage. Plus we get more mobility. We will lose 4 health point though. That's a lot. As compared to the Aegis armor, I, I mean. Right. I mean, I, I will never know how good these armors perform if I don't check them out, right? So... But they are so expensive. I mean, I have a lot. I have a ton of resources, so... Let's just use them all. So I want to build one Banshee, one Titan. So that's 90 plus 1 plus 200. So we will go down to 350 melts. There you go. Complete the transaction. Is this enough? This is not enough. Okay. They need to work with the gear we have available right now. Well, that's too bad. Complete the transaction. So. Now we have two... Uh, two we are too rich if that is even possible okay titan armor manufacture one in 11 days they are coming in and i want the banshee armor there you go banshee and titan armor are coming in in two weeks all right let's advance time see what happens Contact detected. So a small scout is coming in near over Earth, so I will still wait for them. No. The 
let's not send anybody out. Let's wait for them to land. So another landed small scout, but we have seen what a dirty tap that can be, right? Man, let's see how how this goes. B2 is back, at least something. Um, okay, C2 and C4 will take the roles of B1 and B3, or A1, A3, right? There you go. And then we will bring B4. Okay. And then we will have to bring uh, four humans this time. Okay, so let's outfit B2. Do we have the... Um, how many weapons do we still have? Oh, we have oh yeah, sure. Let's put all the pulsers on you. We have three core armor. You you are the one with the heavy armor, right? So let's see. No, that plating is also gone. Okay. Then you will get core armoring, holo targeting, holo targeter, and the scope. Just the normal outfit. So let me know what's up. Okay. So everyone will just get the pulsers, the core armoring, the holo targeter and the scope. Everyone here. You as well. Core armoring, holo targeting and the scope. I will not be named and that's just too trouble for me now. And that is uh the hoop super heavy laser with the weights, heat ammo. Auto targeter, heat ammo and scope. I know, I want an optics on you. So optics, heat ammo and scope. The outbalance that they only have a super heavy laser, right? Okay. Oof. Yeah, I will bring Perry Han as an experienced engineer. Uh, make items available, please. Take his armor. Yeah, you, you will get a pulse rifle this time. That didn't really work out last time with that uh, with the arc rifle thing. Man, I weakened myself in such an important mission. Okay. Uh, we need a scout. This will be your role here. You get, of course, the blaster rifle. Uh, the marksman scope and... Uh, the chameleon suit. There you go. Then I want my gunner this time. Merit. You are awesome, Merit. Aegis. Uh, pulls auto blaster, high caps max, and a scope. Because you have double tap, right? So that will come in handy. Cool. Last but not, maybe a second engineer? I don't know. Oh let's bring let's bring a sniper. Another sniper. This time a real sniper. This isn't shot low low profile. Okay. Agus armor full sniper rifle. It took a long time to uh, research Okay, we don't have a scope for you anymore. Uh, that's unfortunate. Then you get an optics, yeah, to do more damage. All right, and this is the team I will send on this uh, next landed small scout mission. 
in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Instead of all the salt, I, I have to apologize, really, guys. That you had to sit through with me to this uh, mission that really, really uh, pulled some strings. Never before experienced by me. <laughs> but we will, we will face this new threat and respond in kind. Be assured of that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!